Well, call me Mariah Carey, cause all I want for Christmas is you. And this very big stack of books next to me. It's December, baby. <laughs> My name is Lexi and today I will be sharing with you my quite ambitious, very Christmassy winter TBR. So as you can see from all of the decorations, I get pretty damn excited for Christmas, okay? And because of that reason, I have too many books to share with you today. It's kind of the same thing that happens every Halloween season. In Halloween, anything that has like a spooky vibe, I immediately want. And with Christmas and with December, anything that has like snow on the cover, I really, really want. So is this stack probably going to fully happen? No. So I'm seeing it more as like a mood reader stack and I will just read whatever I feel like reading in the month of December, if that makes sense. But I'm gonna be sharing with you all of the titles today. Also, I'm in the best mood ever because look at this cute little mug. It's literally of the Nutcracker. Wow, my camera hates this mug, okay. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and delve right into all the books. The first book is a continuation from last month and I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually thought I was gonna be a lot further along than I am. <laughs> This book is taking me a while, and that is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. I don't know why, but in my head I was like, I can read that whole thing in a month, and then that didn't happen. I have the majority of this to read. I have no idea if I will actually finish it. I'm on page like 123, but I have to say that I'm really, really enjoying it a lot. This is your basic depressing love story, except it's not really supposed to be like a love story, but I gotta tell you, from the vibes that I'm reading, I absolutely 100% think it is a love Love story and I am shipping Anna Karenina and the Russian soldier. I know I'm not supposed to, I'm sorry. But anyways, this is about Anna Karenina who is married and she falls in love with a person who is not her husband and they start an affair. It's a very sad book about the repercussions of this affair. I think it's kind of perfect for this time of year because it's very snowy, very cold, very atmospheric. And so far it's not sad, but I know it's gonna, I know it's gonna break my heart. I know it's gonna shatter my heart like an icicle, but I'm ready. Next up, I have two books that I mentioned in the end of the year book tag. These are two books that I really, really want to try to read before the end of the year is out, and that is Beautiful World, Where Are You by Sally Rooney, and Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. So many of you guys told me that I should read this. I told you guys that I was nervous to pick this particular book up because I was afraid that it wouldn't live up to the house in the Cerulean Sea, but I had so many comments from you guys saying, no, you have to read it. It's even better than the other book. I'm really excited that you commented that because I absolutely will be trying to prioritize this in the next month. I know I've talked about both of these books so much, so I'll be really brief. This is a book about Linus and Linus has just passed away and he has gifted the opportunity to live as much life as he can in a week before he has to fully move on. And then this particular book by Sally Rooney is about a group of four friends who kind of all fall in and out of love with each other. And I think she is just exploring kind of like like the dynamics of friendship and love and how it can get really messy. Those are those books. Next up, I am doing two different buddy reads. The first one is going to be with my two friends, Allie and Kaylin. I can link their channels down below. And we are going to be reading One by One by Ruth Ware. I don't know anything about this. It's a thriller and I think it's like with office people. So like picture The Office, okay? Picture Michael Scott, except instead of like harmless pranks, there's murder. So there's, I mean, it sounds like a good time, you know? I'm excited to read that though with my friends. I think we're planning on doing kind of like a holiday FaceTime and then we're gonna talk about that book too, so it'll be really fun. And then the next buddy read I'm doing is with my friend Ami and we are continuing on in Keeper of the Lost Cities with book number two. This is a total reread for her, but this is the first time that I'm really delving into this world and you guys, I'm obsessed with this. Like I am so madly in love with this series. Like I cannot even tell you. I read the first First book, not expecting to just go so hard for it. Oh God, I dropped the book, but I could not put it down. I gave it five out of five stars. And so we're just gonna continue on with the series. So I'm continuing on with the second book. I'm not gonna tell you what this is about cause like major, major spoilers, but the first book, Keeper of the Lost Cities, is following a girl named Sophie who feels very different from her friends and family. One day she meets a mysterious boy and um, he basically leads her into an entirely different magical world. It's a 
incredible. I can't wait for book two. Yeah, I really can't wait. <laughs> okay, so next up I have this stack of books and I'm gonna be pretty brief with these. And the reason is because I feel like I have mentioned these in so many different December and November and January TBRs that you're probably tired of me saying that I wanna read them. And the first one of that stack is going to be The Snow Child. This is an adult contemporary and I think it has some elements of magical realism. It's about a couple who are really struggling. They wanna be parents, but they just can't be for some reason. And then one day, I think they make like a little child out of the snow and then the snow child comes to life. It sounds very whimsical, very magical, but I have a feeling it's going to absolutely break my heart. Next one is a book that is one of my best friend's favorite books and that is going to be Frostheart. This is the year, you guys. This is the year that I read this brilliant and magical middle grade by Jamie Littler and I can finally stop disappointing Gavin. <laughs> This is a magical little middle grade all about a boy named Ash whose parents go missing and he is trying to search for his parents with his Yeti guardian when he discovers that he has big magical powers and he is then whisked away onto like a sleigh expedition, I think, and um, he's recruited basically because he's a magical badass and like we love to see it. The next one that I want to read every single December is The North Child and this is by Edith Pateau and this is about a girl named Rose who is going on a journey in the north, hence the title North Child. She is a child and she is in the north. It says Rose was born facing north and the old stories say she will venture far from home and embark on a dangerous journey. Making a pact with an enormous white bear, Rose travels on his back to a mysterious castle that holds a dark enchantment. And then the next one reminds me a lot of the Chronicles of Narnia, but it is YA. And I think it's gonna be a lot darker and a lot more sad. And that is The Light Between Worlds. And it says they thought their story had ended, but it had only just begun. This is a book about two twins who go to a world, like a secret magical land that they find, kind of like the kids from Narnia, and then they come back. And when they come back, one of those twins actually wants to find her way back into this magical world. It reminds me a lot of the Chronicles of Narnia. I think it's going to be exploring a lot of heavier topics though. It also kind of reminds me of like Shauna McGuire's Every Heart a Doorway series. I'm very excited to read this. I think it's gonna be magical, but also like some of the most wintry vibes ever with this cover and like I am living for it, you know? And then finally, we have our very last stack. The first one is a middle grade and that is the Vanderbeekers of 141st Street and this is by Karina Jan Glasser and this is a middle grade and I believe that this is a contemporary middle grade. I had to pick this up because I learned that this all takes place around Christmas Eve and I am just such a sucker for books that are set around Christmas time. I feel like it's so magical and cozy to read about Christmas through the eyes of characters around Christmas time. So I had to pick it up and I am definitely planning on prioritizing this. But this is following a family who lives in Manhattan, New York, I believe, and their landlord is kicking them out. And now all of the children of this family have to band together to try to convince the landlord that they deserve to stay in their apartment. I think it is going to be really heartfelt and super, super cozy, but also like I'm living for the cover. I'm living for the aesthetics, Christmas in New York. I think is gonna be wonderful and I can't wait to read it. Next up, I actually think this book was also on my last December TBR um, and that is going to be A Castle in the Clouds and this is by Kirsten Gear. This is a book about a girl named Sophie and Sophie is the hotel babysitter. Right around Christmas, I think all of this random stuff starts to happen with all of the guests. I'm kind of getting a little bit of like a green glass house vibes. It's a cozy mystery set in this beautiful hotel and we're following Sophie. And finally, the last book on this stack is going to be The Toymakers, and this is by Robert Dinsdale. The back of this book makes this sound so good. So it says, if there was a toy shop on Diagon Alley, it would be The Toymakers, a dark enchanting novel for fans of The Night Circus and The Miniaturist. This is all about a toy shop, apparently. It's an emporium and it makes magical little toys. I think there are some elements of actual magic in this, but I'm not really sure. And we're just following what goes on in this emporium. I think it's gonna be really wonderful. This is an adult. I 
think possibly fantasy, but I can't figure out if it's fantasy or if it just has some like whimsical elements to it. But I am so excited. I'm getting so many Christmas vibes. I'm getting so many North Pole vibes. And I think it's gonna be really, really fun to delve into this next. And that is it for my slightly ambitious December TBR. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's actually way more books than just this. I also really, really wanna read Pax. I really, really wanna read The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. I wanna finish The Nowhere Emporium. I really wanna reach for Hotel de Berry. There's just so many books. That sounds so good. Because honestly, I'm not going outside. It's freezing out there, okay? But I think that's it for now, you guys. So I would love to hear from you. What books are you planning on reading this December? Are there any books you think that I should prioritize from this list? Please let me know. I would love to chat with you down in the comments. And if you've made it to this far in the video, please drop me the Santa Claus emoji. It's time, it's officially time. But I think that's it for now, you guys. So until next time, book lovers, keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Hey, Santa, the city is covered in snow tonight. Where did my love go? Santa, I'm waiting for him, but he's